Hello everyone and Happy New Year! If all has gone to plan, this video should be going up on the 1st of January, but we will see because today, like real time, the date is the 26th of December, aka Boxing Day, and I am starting the DIY in the first room, which is our bedroom. So if you kind of watched the last few vlogs of I was gonna say last year, we're still in 2019. But if you watched the last few vlogs, like when we were talking about doing some home updates and stuff and you saw the swatches on the walls, then I think we sort of vaguely discussed some of the plans that we wanted to do in the house. I mean, it's nothing major. We have like one renovation, which is gonna be the basement, which is starting in a week, no, two weeks. So that's a big, or a bigger project than just redecorating. But I've actually started up a home account as well over on Instagram. It's at Emma Hill Homes, so go and follow if you fancy it. So today my plan is the bedroom like redecoration. I'm gonna split into two videos. So the first of which is gonna be the like facelift slash makeover of my wardrobes which I'm gonna start today and that essentially is what this video is gonna be about. I'm not entirely sure how long this is gonna take me but I have written a step-by-step -step tick list of what I need to do in the order of how I need to do it because I'm that precise. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna just start to work through that tick list today. Simon needs to go over to um, his sister's to pick up a plane so that I can plane the doors because they're a bit Mm, well, they don't particularly fit the pla the the wardrobes as such because these wardrobes uh, were came with the house. I always say, and they're great to be honest with you. I've never seen a need to rip them out and put in, you know, professional ones because they they do the job. But I just feel like they need a bit of a facelift, both inside and out. So I've got loads of new fixtures and fittings. And that is what I am going to get cracking on today. So I've got all my tripods here. I'm gonna try and film as much as possible of this process and show you guys all of my DIY efforts. Right, so first things first, also as you can see, I've been swatching on here. I'm gonna open them up and I need to basically move and empty both wardrobes and then I can start taking the doors off. So I need to take everything out of both wardrobes and move it into the spare room so that I have a clean canvas. So I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and we're gonna speed this up. Right, I have done a fair bit, but I have just realised that under, in the top section of here, you can actually see what the wardrobe used to look like on the outside when we moved in about eight years ago. So I'm gonna show you guys that now because I don't have any photos. We just didn't take any photos because we just didn't. It wasn't something that we did back in the day, eight years ago. So this is what I've done so far. I've obviously taken off the majority of the like hardware hinges and stuff. This one is still stuck on and one down at the bottom there. And then this pole, I just cannot seem to get off. So I'm going to save that for Simon. But yes, up here. Oh, this is what the wardrobes used to look like. And as you can see, I was just lazy and couldn't really be bothered to paint this section up here, like I did down here, just because this section is barely ever used. It's where all my storage tubs go. But this is like a textured wallpaper, which obviously whoever lived here before us kind of put on the walls to, <laughs> I don't know, make it more attractive. As you can see, it's very mid-century, which I actually love. It's very much my vibe, but it was just probably not the most polished job in the world. So that's why I changed it. And then this was the wood, 
which is, it is a little bit orange on camera. I just put this on my stories as well and it's a bit orange, but it's quite red like in real life and in sort of natural light. And that is what these doors are made out of, this veneered mahogany. So yeah, there you go guys. I know we don't have a proper before and after picture, but that's as good as you're gonna get. Oh, hello, have you come to help? Come to supervise. All right. We've been out to B&Q. It's now, what time is it? Like quarter past three-ish? Um, the end of the day nearly. I know. What have you done? I have successfully taken, taken off all off. the doors. Although I did have, you need to take this off. Hardest bit that is. Yeah, and that one in there. I can't get the screwdriver in it. Um, we've had to go to B and Q just to get some extra items. And now I am. Let me just twizzle you guys. In here, stripping off this. It's like a polystyrene wallpaper stuff. I don't really know. Is that what it is? Polystyrene wallpaper. So I'm stripping that off the inside of here. This is so satisfying. Huh? Yeah, if only all wallpaper came off like this. It's like the most satisfying thing to do. Right, it is 6.13 in the evening. We have called it a day. I have just had a little tidy up. In fact, let me spin you guys around so I can kind of show you the progress we've made today. So I've just had a little bit of a tidy up, just put all our bits and bobs like neatly in a pile. These are our dust sheets. I'm gonna keep this chair up here as well for tomorrow. So Simon has gone round and filled well, I kind of sanded and then Simon filled a lot of the holes because we're putting on new hinges. So all of these holes that are in the framework and also inside are going to be different. So we've just filled those. So we're going to wait and let the filler dry overnight, which is why we've called it a day. Up here, which some of you might have seen over on my Emma Hill Home Instagram stories, a lot of the plaster came away from the wall up here which we are completely used to because this house is so old so that up there is the only bit that we're going to get re-rendered and basically fixed we've had to do that in a lot of places in the house so we're going to just use the same guy that we always use to get that bit done up there that's the only bit that we'll get a professional to do but the rest of it will all be diy and basically it's just been really good to kind of strip this back to like the bare bones because actually as a wardrobe this is really functional it is not the worst wardrobe in the world so i kind of don't see the point in stripping it out and making a whole new one we're just going to work with the framework that we have so tomorrow we are going to sand all the filler and then start painting good morning everyone it is day two now of this wardrobe makeover and day two officially of all of the home renovations if that's what you can call them i'm gonna just pan over here past my three glamorous assistants and go to my fourth glamorous assistant who is doing what are you doing just a little bit of filling a little bit of filling so today, obviously yesterday we didn't see like a massive transformation, it was all about the preparation. But today we're moving on to this, which is insulating lining paper. And we're just going to pop that on these two walls here, just because the house is so old. And when you have like an external wall, that one in particular, it can get damp. So unless I were to leave my wardrobe doors open all the time, this solves the problem. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna move on to the painting, which is obviously when we will see a big change. Right, we are finally moving 
Oh, we've done the polystyrene paper stuff in there. Have you filled in there? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, you've done some filler. Simon's magic touch is always filler because filler fixes everything, doesn't it? Most things. Yeah. So now, what are you doing in here? A bit of sanding? No, I'm painting. Oh, I'm painting. I know, but you were in there sanding a minute ago. Yeah. Trying to take missed. over my project. A bit too missed. Oh, right. Okay, I'll let you off then. So I'm going to start painting now. I've got my paint. Where is it? Down here. So we've gone for farrow and ball colours. Oh, that's taken a long time. But we've had them mixed by Valspar because you guys recommended this stuff. This is the... Thank you, Boris. That's helpful. Excuse me, please. Thank... Oh, yep. You smacked your head. <laughs> this is the V700 wood and metal. And we have gone for... Well, you'll soon find out. Ooh. Quite good coverage, don't you? Yeah. Guy was having a right good old conversation with me. Yeah, he was loving life, telling me, oh yeah, my friend. He he had Pharaoh and Ball and his missus wouldn't let him have like custom mixed. He said um she wanted Pharaoh and Ball and he said he had to work four coats up. He said it cost him nine hundred pounds in paint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, we've done a fair bit of painting. We're just moving on to the doors. We've What's done. What's happened there? Huh? What happened there? You asked me if I sanded it, and I said yes, which was a lie. It hadn't been sanded, so you've had to sand it. Um, so we've done these small doors. Can you just move your leg? in there and now we're doing these but you're figuring out the maths on how to paint them aren't you? I'm going to do all the backs. All the backs. And while they dry we put the floor in there and paint in here. Yeah. At that point that's a bit dry so we put these on and then we can do the fronts. Right okay. Right we've got the majority of the doors kind of half done so what we're doing is painting the back and most of the sides so that we can hang them and then paint the front so those are the small ones. And then the bigger ones, we've got, I think, two dry large ones and two which are wet, which we've just put in there. So to just try and sort of keep the flow moving, because it is now about half five, we're going to try and pop on the smaller doors up there. So Simon's just gone to go and get more supplies of things. And I have got the new brass hinges out. And these are like little magnetic catch things. Which, as you can see, these two are stuck together, like so. These, we had those in there before, but they were, like, white and horrible, and I'd painted over them. So these are just nice new ones, which should keep the doors closed, because the doors are quite heavy, so they would likely, in an old house like this, in an old wardrobe like this, they would likely swing open. You a good angle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? You just dropped something. Well, today has been quite the day. We've got a lot done, but the doors were a bit of a mission in the end. Sanding them took ages. We took them out into the back garden and were sanding them down. Um, and then trying to get them back on with all the new fittings was also a bit of a mission, although granted, <laughs> that was more of a singular mission for Simon. So we've got on, if I pan you guys around, we've got on all but those doors up there. And obviously you can see that's still sort of exposed brickwork. But yeah, otherwise, that is a long old day of hard work, but it's starting to pay off. And I think they look pretty good. Good morning. Hello. What are we doing today? Finishing, hopefully. <laughs> Yes, so what time is it now? Let's have a look at the time. 10.40 it looks like from your phone. Right, so basically this morning, Simon has just been adding on a few more of these little magnetic fixtures. I've had to quickly order some more off eBay because I made a calculation error and didn't account for the fact that in these bigger sections here, these two, they need 
four, one's for top and bottom, whereas those just have the top. So we're having to leave these ones up here for now, but it's fine because someone's going to come and sort that out. Um, and now we're moving on to the floor, aren't we? Yeah. It's a bit of a travesty to say goodbye to this beautiful retro lino, no. but... Huh? No, that is the worst looking thing in the world. I think it's really cool. You would do. So yeah, we're doing the flooring today. Literally, I just bought the cheapest possible flooring, laminate flooring, so that we didn't have to use any spares that we've got for this floor from B&Q. And it's purely just having laminate in the wardrobes just so that it's easier to clean. And obviously, aesthetically, it looks a bit nicer than the jazzy lino. So that's the task and the plan of action right now. I'm gonna help. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tried one of these double decker bars that your mum got us in them selection boxes yesterday and it is delightful. I've never had a double decker. Oh, I've been missing out on. It's like marshmallow inside. Huh? Nougat. Nugget. Yes. Chewy. Right, so the flooring is looking pretty good. We've just got some, what's that stuff called? Quadrant, like trim drying around the edge. I'm gonna paint that as well afterwards. And now the handles are finally going on. Yeah. How are you feeling? Tired. Tired? <laughs> yes. Right, the time is 20 past eight in the evening on day three. I've had a shower, but someone is still slaving away, aren't you? Uh, yeah, we'll be finished from me. We haven't got the enough hinges. Yeah, we're almost done. So as you can see, the rails have gone in. So I've got an additional one in there. You're just painting that door aren't you? Yeah, just need one more hinge. So we right. need one more hinge because we used one of the smaller ones on this door here because the wood is warped on this. So that door will go up tomorrow and then the handles will go on and That's then it. we're done, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. But yeah, look at this. It's all obviously got to peel off the masking tape down in the bottom where I've painted the trim, but it's looking pretty good. Hello everyone, it is now Monday the 30th of December, it's quarter past five in the afternoon slash evening and I have just finished putting all of my clothes back in my wardrobe. You will see that process in Sunday's video because I decided to film that as a separate video because I know you guys like to see my organisational process and how I go about clearing things out. But yeah, the wardrobes are finished, kind of. <laughs> With the exception of the plaster, which needs fixing up in one of the top bits. And I think we still need to do a few minor paint touch-ups. But aside from that, it is finished. And I'm going to give you just a little mini tour so that you can see the final product and the product of blood, sweat, and like a couple of tears. So here they are in all their glory. Of course, it is evening time, so it's dark, so we're going off artificial light. 
So the colour that we have used is a paint by Valspar, it's V700, that's the, the kind of paint, and we have had it colour matched to Faro and Ball railings because we weren't going to pay Faro and Ball paint price. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what we've had. It kind of changes colour depending on the natural light. So in natural daylight, it looks a lot more like inky blue, whereas here it does look a bit more charcoal-esque. But they are looking very lovely indeed. So I'm going to show you guys inside here with my nice brass fixtures and inside the first set Simon very kindly popped back on my little baskets today it's all looking very nice indeed I'm so glad that I did the inside in this dark railings colour as well I was going to leave it kind of white or a light colour but I actually really love it in the dark and then this one over here let's close that a little bit as you can see I haven't really put much stuff on the doors literally just those baskets yes I know the bottom rail <laughs> I'm starting a new bendy rail I might put a middle structure in there but it's not always going to be that heavy it's only for only half the year but there we go guys all finished I'm so happy and literally just for like under 200 pounds that has made such a massive difference to the room and now we have to start on the next bit which is painting the rest of the room and painting the bed so yeah that's that's it that is the end result and I just want to say thank you for watching us renovate my wardrobes and uh yeah stay tuned for all of the other bits and bobs to come the next obviously task will be to finish off this bedroom and um, so we've got a few different bits that we need to do and then of course all the other bits from around various other areas in the house haven't quite decided on the running order but i think the one after this bedroom is probably going to be the basement which is a much bigger task and we have people outside people coming in to help us with that because we are not in any way experienced at doing such things as basement. So that's um, coming up on the agenda and as I mentioned relatively at the start of this video perhaps, I do have a new home account over on Instagram so you can head over there for extra snippets and like little advanced sneaky peeks at things. And yeah, thank you as always for watching and I will catch you guys on Sunday's video for a more thorough how I organise my wardrobe video. See you then! Bye!